<laughs> it was funny. Um, I went into this race wanting to run from the start, run run hard from the start, more than anything. So I was out of traffic and I didn't risk getting my shoe clipped. So that was the main motivation. And then secondly, my coach had on paper splits that I was supposed to kind of aspire for if I felt good. And my finishing time was 9:41. So um, probably not to his disapproval. I totally overruled him. And uh, literally three laps in. I just felt great, and I saw that I was uh, way fast from where he had me at, and I just was like, go for it. I mean, how many times are you on a great track in warm weather, and the crowd is going wild? And um, But I, I didn't even know until I finished that I was close to the American record. I had no idea. So that's, that's huge. It's so exciting. So when you crossed the line, I mean, you dropped down. What were the emotions going through? When I dropped down, that's when I realized I was so I was like half a second or something from the American record. Um, I just thought, how could I do that and feel so good doing it? You know, <laughs> and normally it's like these death-defying races, but I just felt really strong and felt God's pleasure the whole time. And uh, this is what I was born to do. I love it. I love coming here. I love racing hard. And um, I don't I don't care if there's people there to push me or not. I want a hard race. So. Yeah, obviously, this is, this is a, a relatively new event. And you had were a prominent high school runner. Was it hard? to get you uh, recruited into the steeplechase? I mean, people seem to either love, love it or loathe it. Yeah, um, it wasn't hard because I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, my coach had me try it, and I debuted at 10, 19. I was a freshman at Stanford and told him, I hated it so hard. My legs feel terrible. And he said, well, you just did amazing, so you're going to give it a year. And, I mean, obviously I had a lot of say in it too, but um, he really, he was the one, Mark Wetmore, that saw a future in it for me. And, um, I don't think he or I ever planned for me to win nationals my freshman year or to win USA as my sophomore year. And I know he's going to be um, impressed and happy and surprised that I ran so well today, especially alone. So, well, why are you good at that? Are you kind of, take, kind of an athletic person to do it who can handle disrupted pace? Did you do other sports in high school? Um, no. I've only run my whole life, so it's really funny to me. I teased my freshman year when I won in seas that that was the most athletic thing I've ever done in my life. Because uh, jumping over things, um, uh, my high school coach was mortified. He's like, oh, God, Jenny's going to kill herself. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, running on a straight line is hard enough for me uh, that it's really funny that I'm a steeplechaser. But um, I think I'm just gritty, and I love tough competition. I love cross country. And um, I, I, I call it man-to-man -man combat. I love it. I love getting in there and racing hard. And, uh, and the obstacles in the way, I think it just weeds out maybe some of the um, maybe some other competitors and maybe aren't quite as mentally as tough. Not to uh, down on anyone, not in the event. But, um, but yeah, it takes a tough woman to do it. You sound like you might be temperamentally suited then <laughs> to go into the Olympics and, and try to make a final. <laughs> That's very flattering. Um, I'm definitely just going to try and make the team one step at a time. Um, I am terrified that, you know, at all, given what happened in NCs last year, I don't take any race for granted, not even prelims. So my mind hasn't gone past prelims in Eugene. And once I finish prelims, then I'll think about what comes after that. Um, but yeah, I, whatever American women, and this is on record, go to the Olympics, need to go to make the final, and need to go uh, to race hard and race well and be in the front because uh, we're just as good as anyone out there and we've got just as much potential and with it being an early um, early in the uh, event's history. Um, I'm really looking forward to U.S. women kind of taking the lead and pioneering out Spe there. The Speaking of your performance last year at the NCAA meet, did yeah. you hear the meet announcer describe what happened as you were as you were running over the last <laughs> speaker? Um, honestly, I hardly ever in my life hear the announcers. I'm so in my own world and maybe that's why I'm okay at the steeple um, because I'm able to really focus when I want to on what I'm doing. Um, but I did hear him say my shoe got clipped. And I'm thinking, we got to bring that up right now. <laughs> but no, I, I, I don't mind that he mentioned it. And, and in, a, in a way, for me, it's a little bit of a badge of honor the way that I conducted myself in that race and continued to run hard even though I was frantic uh, and, and really traumatized by the whole event. And the way I came back in two weeks and said, hey, this is behind me. This isn't for revenge. This is uh, for a tough race. And I went out and won by eight one hundredths of a second. And I'll never forget the feeling of sprinting down that final straightaway and uh, and and winning a U.S. title. How do you feel about setting all of these records? And, uh, um, can't even list them all. I think, I think you just thrive in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Indiana and Iowa. Yeah, they get some good vibes for me. Um, yeah. 
Doing all this so early, it hasn't sunk in. I'm in my third year of college and I feel so perfectly suited for exactly where I am in life right now. I love my college. Oh, I love my college and I love going to class. I love uh, working at my church and I love racing and training hard. I love my teammates and I love traveling. So everything that I'm doing right now, I'm just, I'm just reveling in the beauty of where my life is at.